All right, everyone, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Nokia G100. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. I did have this phone in my office for like almost a week. I know, I'm really, really sorry. But still, nobody has yet to unbox this or do an official unboxing or whatever of the Nokia G100 on YouTube. Now this phone retails for $199. They do have another version uh, for $169.99, but I don't think that's worth it at all, just looking at everything that you get with it. So with the $199 version, you get four gigabytes of RAM and 120 gigabytes of internal storage. Going down just $30 to the $169.99 one, that only gives you 32 gigabytes of internal storage, and I think it's like three gigabytes of RAM. So you get another gig of RAM in this, and you get 128 instead of 32, which I think is a hell of a better deal than that one for 169.99. If you're gonna pull the trigger on this phone, just buy the 199 one. Taking a look at the back, we do have some more specifications right here. Now this isn't going to be a full HD display. As you guys can see, we have a 6.52 inch HD plus 20 by nine display. Uh, this isn't going to be a crate display. I actually did take a look at it a little bit inside the store. It really doesn't look good. The angles don't look great. But this is going to be an entry level device. This is going to be a phone for somebody who doesn't really care um, about all the niceties and stuff. They just need the basic stuff inside of a phone, latest Android and all that good stuff. So two days battery life inside of here, a huge 5,000 milliamp battery and paired with that display, this is going to last for a long time. We also have a triple rear camera setup. We have our 13 megapixel main, five megapixel ultra wide, and our third one, which is our two megapixel depth that we seem to have on every single phone. And we also have our eight megapixel front facing camera. And we have a side mounted fingerprint sensor in here. Our processor is going to be a Snapdragon processor. Um, and this is basically going to be a 662, I believe it said. Uh, yeah, 662. That's a processor that I have really no uh, type of experience with, so this is going to be interesting, honestly. But let's go ahead and get inside of this. All right, everyone, so let's get inside of this box right here. Also, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a second. I've been doing a lot of other business related to some other websites and stuff, so sorry I've been away for a second. But first and foremost, we have our phone right here, and we actually have it in this plastic, which is kind of odd don't really happen usually. We also have our SIM ejector tool. We just pull this back and we get it right there. And we also, of course, have our Nokia G100 start guide right here. We have our product and safety info, as well as English and in Spanish, so that's nice to see. Now pulling up this top, we do have our data cable. And pulling up this top, guess what? We have a wall charger inside of the box, and this is going to be a 15 watt fast charger. Super excited about that. That's actually really cool. And of course, our phone is right here. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is a little bit of a heavier phone, to be quite honest. Wow. Like that color, though. And here we go, people. So we have our phone right here. Um, this is going to have a textured back, so we shouldn't be able to leave too many fingerprints on this as far as, like, you know, compared to the glossy ones. Uh, it may stay there for a second, but honestly, like the back like the color as well, nice looking color. Bottom of the phone, we do have some little text down here that's kind of a little whack, honestly. But above that, we have our Nokia logo, and of course, we have our triple camera setup right here. And as you guys see, it says AI camera right there, and just above that, we have our LED flash. I'm gonna take these individually off. I've never seen this on a phone before. Or I may have, I don't know, I've just reviewed a lot of different phones. But there you go. I know it's not as uh, satisfying as taking the bigger ones off, but there you go. Triple camera setup right there. I already went over the specs of that. And we also have a fingerprint sensor that's mixed with our power button. We're going to see how accurate that is. Also above that, we have our volume up and down rocker. Top of the phone, we have a headphone jack and a noise canceling mic. Always great to see one of those. Left side of the phone, we have our SIM tray. And bottom of the phone, it looks like we have a single speaker. I'm not thinking this is gonna have stereo, so let's just call that our single for now until we test it. We also have our USB Type-C port and we have our noise canceling mic. All right, people, so we have the phone right here. Uh, we don't have the best wallpaper on here. Let me go ahead and put a better wallpaper so you guys can actually see. But as you guys can see, this is the display right here. We have some really, really big bezels on this device, so just keep in mind these are some fat bezels. 
um, but as far as the display it's not terrible but it's not too great the thing that I've noticed is if I tilt it to the right right here it kind of darkens a little bit um, that's something that I was hoping that I wasn't going to see ever again past 2017 or 18 but it looks like we have that on this phone um, so not a beautiful looking display um, but I think most people will be able to get over that fact especially since this is an entry-level phone um, in my opinion there are so many other options to get that the Nokia would be such an afterthought for me. But there are a lot of people that are Nokia fans that may want to pick this up. But first and foremost, we can see that this is pretty much stock Android other than, you know, for Amazon right there. We have our Amazon shopping list. But we also just have a stock Android type of look right here. So first and foremost, display is not that great. Um, as far as getting into our drop down bar menu, it looks like we do have universal controls, we have our auto rotate, we have our Wi Fi, we have our dark theme, our night light, our nearby share, our native screen recorder, and of course, data saver, extra dim, invert colors, hotspot, our screencast that's inside of there, uh, bedtime mode, focus mode. We got all that stuff on here. I'm not sure if we have NFC. I'm gonna check to see if we do in a second but this looks like uh this looks like a lot of devices are getting this type of look from google so a lot of these devices that are around the 200 to 250 dollar price tag are coming out um looking like stock android right here with google assistant and all of that so for the experience that you're going to get on here it's probably going to be pretty decent since it is stock android we're not using things like bixby or anything you know any of these other third party assistants or any anything like that um, we do have our google messages right there as well um, and obviously this is going to be a pretty stock android experience so i don't think it's going to be less snappy than usual uh, with their four gigabytes of ram obviously the 662 that we see in here is going to be a little bit different of an experience since i haven't utilized that yet but we're going to test that out with gaming and obviously in the full review i'll let you know uh what we see in that but uh i'm gonna go ahead and go into camera and we're gonna take a photo and see how this looks um, i'm not really expecting too much to be quite honest so let's see what we get out of here okay that's a pretty nice shutter speed actually pretty quick so the camera actually looks pretty decent so in good lighting this actually looks decent we had a quick shutter speed as well um, this looks a little less washed out uh, than a few of the devices that i've been taking a look at this week so that's surprising so i think that has nice shutter speed it looks pretty decent honestly i don't think it i don't think it's bad at all we also have our video right here we can go up to i believe 1080p 30 frames per second if i'm not mistaken we also have hdr on here which is great to see so yeah so we have 1080p 30 frames per second on the rear facing camera and 1080p 30 on the front facing camera so those are the max resolutions also, we have portrait mode on here as well, so that's nice to see, and it gives you a little bit of a tutorial. We have our night shot on here, our night mode, beautiful, and we have some more stuff. So we have panorama and our time lapse. So this honestly looks pretty decent. I'm liking the way this camera looks so far. I'm going to go ahead and take a portrait mode photo. Okay. Okay. So th this looks good. This camera is actually decent. I really, really like how this camera is looking so far. So it has all of your basic necessities that you need in a camera, and the camera looks really solid, actually. We also have our stopwatch up top right there as well. But the camera is looking solid. I would say it's even more solid than the display on this phone. So if you don't really care about displays too much, and you can get over you know, having like this TFT type of display, I don't think you guys are going to have too much of an issue with this phone. Also, as far as the fingerprint sensors go, they're pretty accurate. I've had pretty much the same experience as the X100 as well. So it's been pretty accurate on here. The only other things that I don't like about this phone have to be the bezels. Um, but everything on this so far looks pretty decent. But we're going to go and test out YouTube. We're going to test out the speaker on this device as well. We're going to call it a day. And if you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And if I find any other pros and cons on this device, obviously I'm going to make many more videos on this. And I'll go ahead and talk to you guys about those and do our full review. But let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what YouTube looks like. Also, Android 12 is on here and we're on August 5th, 2022 security patch. So that is what we have on here so far. Not sure if we're going to get an update. I'm not sure how long this is going to be supported since this is pretty much an entry level device. But 
Let's go and take a look at the video real quick. All right, here is how our display looks. Now this is going to be 1080p, as you guys can see in the settings right here, 60 frames per second. So at this rate, it looks really nice, honestly. Head on, you guys are gonna have a decent time with this display. Um, I can notice that the speaker is actually pretty tinny on this device. Not like crazy tinny, but I can, I, there's a noticeable tin compared to some other phones that are around uh, this price tag that I've reviewed. But this doesn't look half bad at all. Especially if you're just viewing it head on and you're not like playing a racing game or something like that and it gets a little bit darker right here. If you guys just watch, you know, movies and TV shows and scroll through Instagram and all of that, you're not gonna have a bad time on this device at all. Also, if you're just watching a movie on here head on, it's gonna be perfectly fine. So it doesn't sound terrible for the price tag. For the price tag, obviously there's many other devices um, that sound much better around this price tag. But for $199, this is pretty much what you can expect out of advice for this price tag. Um, but I like it so far. I like that Nokia is still coming out with devices. I think there are so many different options that you guys can choose. But if you guys are Nokia uh, fanboys for some reason, um, I'm not I'm not trying to knock it or anything. But if you guys do like Nokia devices, if you like the look of this one, um, I could recommend it for $199, honestly. But the thing is, I can recommend so many more phones at this price tag. But this is looking pretty decent so far. We're going to see how gaming goes on this device and everything. But, you know, the only cons that I have on this device so far are the no NFC, the big bezels, and the display. And that's pretty much it. If you guys can get over any of those, then I think this device could suit you. Yeah, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Also, if you guys want to go ahead and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload next, definitely go ahead and do so. This has been Stefan from TechRite. Peace out, Tech Gang.